Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari <laughs> games. And tonight, we do have a new Atari game. Yeah. Yes. Nice intro, by the way. Well, I, that you. was a surprise for me, too. That was, was really cute. I was inspired. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can do something with that nice. intro. And oh, that's really like cute. Yeah. yeah. So, welcome to the show. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Tonight, we have the exclusive world premiere of Mario Brothers. For the 7800. And you're thinking, the 7800 already has Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? This is a brand new homebrew of Mario Brothers for the 7800. Okay. And is by Old Style. Okay. And music by Synth Popalooza. So you know you're going to get some good music. So let me load up my notes. Welcome everybody to the show. Man, the cat yeah, is like oh, all over oh, the cables. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Peter Matthews, thank you for following. Glad you're enjoying the show, the one minute of it we've had so far. Yes. Um, and welcome everybody to the chat that are here live on mm -hmm. Twitch and watching later on YouTube. Um, so I want to thank all the subscribers. Oh, first time chat. Hey, Peter Matthews. Welcome. Greeting back, back to Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, the subscribers who help support the show as soon as it loads up. It's coming. It's coming. Oh my god, it's so slow. Uh, you can read it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, Alan the Fur, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, 2D Charles and Chuck Charles, William Chive 5, Chris Albright, Coffee, Coffee Cup Arcade, Dianoid, Dan, if you see Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Ozier, Rapper, Johnny WC, Wani Rado, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco, Mark's Basic, Metal Atari, McNeese, Mike Sol, Mike, Mike Littell, Mice Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarner Whoop, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Pack Rat, VG Cog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless V, Ricardo Pym, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice War, S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Welshman, Thrust 26, Tiki Tanke, Token Muncher, Trek MD Vitoko, X Kenex, and Yorgi's Castle. Uh, if you want your name down scrolling Yay. beside us, you can subscribe too. Oh, just say a cast of thousands. Oh, somebody's sick of it. <laughs> somebody's sick of me reading names, finally. <laughs> So maybe we'll take a vote and me stop reading the names. <laughs> no, I think <laughs> no. it's awesome. I just have to say them faster to fit them in. Yeah, yeah. Practice, practice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have a poll question today. Ooh, exciting. Uh, and I have to type it out. Do you. And I can't really say it because it will wreck the poll. I can't say it out loud. You'll just have to read it. I'll blank out the. What? The question It'll wreck a little them. bit. You'll see why. Okay. It's very there secretive. It is. And we're starting the poll now. There we go. How do you pronounce M A R I O? <laughs> uh, the first one is. Mario. The second one is Mario. 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 So. Mario. Mario. Interesting. Mario. Yes. Lots of twos. I see a <laughs> lot of twos. I say Mario as well. Yeah. Mario. Ma. Okay. The well, ma. There's that a reason for ma. that. Mario. <laughs> Uh, did you bring down your Switch games? No, I Run. thought you grabbed them. No, I oh. didn't. I thought I did too. I put them aside. I'll, I'll We're right. going to show what we got for Christmas. Yay, Christmas games. Uh, oh, Packrat says one. He is the lone person. We got some nice, uh, Ten, you got some nice gifts for me. Uh, we're just going to show the, uh, video game related ones. Oh, and after the show, we're going to do an After Dark. Uh, Ricky and Vicky on the 7800. Now that we have proper controllers and I have much better output for the 7800, we're going to replay Ricky and Vicky after the show. And I just scheduled uh, Mario Brothers for the show um, because I wanted to have some time for that. Oh, the door's open. Can you shut the door a bit more? It's cold. The cat needs it's to learn cold. how to close the door That's to right. keep the heat in the room. Well, you just have to give him treats. Are there gifts other than video games? No, there are no, not. No, not the matter. <laughs> so, Tanya got me these incredible signs. You may have seen them around. Uh, let me see if I... Do you recall that it was fraught off of Etsy, right? Etsy, eBay. I think they're on both. Okay. Um, I know he. this person posts on the Facebook 
um, okay. groups a lot. So okay. you may have seen them if you're on You'll the You'll have Facebook. to remember. Oh, wait. What does it say on the back? Oh. TheTDShop.com. There you go. That's where it is. So that's, that's for right the Atari 8-bit computers. Shiny, shiny. Here's the Atari 5200. Have to figure out how we're gonna. Here's the Atari 2600. Oh, the 2600 is very rainbowy. I like yeah, it. Yeah, very it nice. Should be. And That's the star one. of the show tonight, the Ooh. Atari 7800. There we go. There we go. The N64 Where's pronounces that? it Mario in Super Mario 64. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Uh, it's a me, Mario. <laughs> anyway. Very, yes, very and that's cool. uh, that is a correct pronunciation. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> someone says no eight bit love, but actually that is the eight bit. All isn't of it? it, all of it's eight bit love. Yeah. Oh, the first one you might have missed. Yeah, it. you might have missed the first one in the top, the four hundred eight hundred. Yeah. So this is not a general Atari. This is the eight bit line. Yeah. Um, there you yeah, go. We can go to the cat cam and show you a bit. Mario, more, so. Mary, Mario. Yes. <laughs> there it is. Really nice. Beautiful. All of them are really, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, so It's always gonna, nice to get stuff that's made. Reconfigured this back here somehow. I don't know what we yet. We should put a little shelf here so no, you can no put shelves, games on no. it. No, no, not permanent. Like a little shelf so you could have it and then the games Ooh. in the back. I like that That's idea. not bad. Yeah. Like if I'm like, playing... Because it, it sits... It's flat. The back of our, our, our like, couch here is flat. Well, no, we could put a shelf on here. You could. And if we're playing, like a little shelf. playing a retail game, I can put yeah. the game up there. Yeah. Like that. Because right now it doesn't doesn't really work. Well, this can be moved up even, yeah. and then you could have a lower shelf. But anyway. we'll figure out a configuration with yeah. all these um, shiny things. These shiny things. A little shelf things. for the Atari to sit on. Yes. <laughs> for the kitty? Oh. oh. <laughs> that would be adorable. It would not be a little shelf, though. No. It would be a big shelf. Um, so show them what you got. Oh, well, no, these, I got a couple of games. I got uh, Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, which... Mario. Mario. <laughs> Did I say Mario? Yes. Now I'm getting confused. <laughs> Super Mario. Super Mario. Super Mario. I don't even know what I say. I probably <laughs> jump back and forth. Yeah. Um, there was a head hitting problem with the shelves beyond the couch. That's why I got rid of them. That's actually, why, I moved it up. Yeah, we have one high one. We had a lower one too. It was and smack. You would Every just time smack somebody sat on the couch, it was like, Mack. yeah, you would you would fly back and yeah, no, not good. It's from Concussions the aren't good with video games. From the pumpkin eater game. Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> yeah. The yeah, developer sent me the little stuffy. I, I mean, these are modern games, obviously. Yeah, uh, Switch games. This is the one I've been playing for the last two days, which is Paper Mario: The Origami King. Because I'm I'm a big fan of the Paper Mario games. Yeah. I think I've played all of them. I've enjoyed all of them. So Miss Command says uh, they go back and forth. I, pronouncing. I I don't know. I don't know how I pronounce it. To be honest, I know I did pronounce it Mario back in the day. Mario? I know it's Mario. Mario. I don't know. I'll show you why Super Mario, we know Super it's Mario. Mario. Because this is the dude who voices. Really. Mario. Oh. <laughs> and let's hear uh, how he That's pronounces awesome. it. Hello, it's me, Hello, it's Mario. Mario. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the official pronunciation from the person who wow. voices Mario. That is very yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, Nostalgic liked Origami King. Yes. Mm, yeah. That's what you're playing. That's right what now. I'm playing. Yeah. I'm playing right now. I love the fake Mario news. Series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, all CGI created. Mm -hmm. um, so news, not much news, but um, Al from Atari Age posted another game that's coming out uh, soon. Soon. Uh, Albert said, Nathan Strum completed his design of the packaging for Ladybug Arcade, another in a long line of wonderful artwork he's created for many new 2600 games over the years, and I'm happy I can reveal the box artwork, and it is amazing. Look at that. Ladybug mm. Arcade. It's got some great illustrations. No, 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 kittens. Is he chewing cords again? Yeah. What is um, he? He's, he's a pet cat. Of some of the bugs <laughs> in Ladybug Arcade, mm. uh, which is, it's an amazing game. Mm -hmm. If... You guys haven't game. played it yet. For the 2600, uh, Atari Vox Enhanced, Quadtari compatible. Um, very awesome game. And also, at the bottom, 
Ladybug Arcade, along with several other games, will hit the Atari Age store later this week. Oh, nice. So very soon. Very soon. I know there's up. a big chunk of games coming. There's like almost 20 games coming to the store. So that is going to be exciting to see which ones are coming out, because I think there's some that I don't even know that are coming out. I may have oh. heard of them, but I don't know that we they're coming out. We have played them oh, or it seen is, them? It is Champ Games, yep. Champ Games. Uh, Quadtari. No, you don't need four joysticks, but you can play two-player plus Atari Vox. So oh. you can save your scores For if and you have, have two players gotcha. at the same time without uh, changing joysticks. Nice. Yeah. nice, nice, Hey, nice. Metal Lunar. Uh, Champ Games are great. Yeah, they yeah. make amazing games. So that's all the news. Um and so let's get on to Mario Brothers yeah. for the 7800. This, Exciting. I was first aware of this game on March 19th, 2021. Okay. When Old Style started posting about it. Um, I think I've got that link up here. Yes. So here it is. Here's the first post that I was aware of, of his version that he was working on. Mm. Um... I can relate to what you're alluding because he's he's replying to a uh, Daryl1970 who was also working on a Mario game, um, mm -hmm. who has stopped. Um, I can relate to what you're alluding to since I've been working on a port of it on and off in a piecemeal fashion since early 2019. Wow. At one point early on, I stopped working on it for about six or seven months. However, each time I come back to it, I'm reminded that's not too bad. With that said, I suppose now is as good a time as any to tell you enthusiasts that's here hear that a fresh port is much closer than you think. Uh, this was in March. Uh, I'd estimate around 65 to 70% complete, and by that I'm referring to the core game elements, mm. which would include, exclude the title screen, demonstration, scoreboard. Uh, no mention of the EXO demo that dropped late Friday night. Oh yeah, new EXO demo. <laughs> uh, Thanks, I, I've been very tower. busy, I, I apologize. <laughs> Um, and also uh, another game by Muddy Funster, mm. a demo of that released. Mm. Uh, it was, oh, it's a very strange name. It was, it's a little um, guy that hops on squares, cu cubic conundrum, something in the cubic conundrum. But we'll be playing that in the next episode. So, okay. and the new e EXO. E EXO well. demo? Yeah, I believe so. So, cool, um, cool, cool. Yeah. So, more 7800 games. So, I, I, yeah. So that is happening, the, the yeah. XO demo. So you can go download the XO demo right now. Yeah. Fully featured two levels, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so he goes on to say a bunch of stuff. Um, and I posted some screenshots of it um, back in March. Not many people noticed. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but, uh, and, and also Daryl1970 posted a demo of his version as well. Um, and Jinx says, I bet ZPH does a video of it tomorrow. <laughs> and somebody said, please mm. do not do a video of it. We don't want attention drawn to it. Um, so I didn't actually mention it in the news at all back then. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't want to kind of put it out. There. Yeah. Get attention to it. So I That's fair enough. didn't really do it. Yeah. So, right away. Yeah. yeah. So let's take a look at the ports of Mario Brothers that do exist, mm. uh, the official ones that were released back in the day. Nice. Um, so let's take a look. This this channel is uh, Retro Sutra that we're looking at. Um, they compare um, oh, video versions? games, ver yeah. different versions. Those they, are always really interesting. Yeah, they don't yeah. normally compare homebrews. They're like, no, that doesn't doesn't really we're just comparing official official releases mm -hmm. from the companies and back in the day not new ones yeah so we'll skip through a bunch of them and take a look we won't put on the music so this is the arcade version nice now i see where, where the intro came in yep exactly <laughs> um actually, we can play the music because we're gonna have music anyway This is what the arcade. What a shell creeper! Looks like. Yeah, they have very interesting names. Interesting. Not shell a turtle. Shell creeper or or um. Koopa. Koopa, yeah. Yeah, because they are actually turtles. They're not they're they're not hybrid Koopas? creatures. Well, they, they, I mean, Koopas walk like that too, yeah. don't they? Uh, well, maybe not. No, you're right. Yeah. 
so there's the arcade. Uh, then we go to the 2600 version, which Ooh. is not bad for 2600 <laughs> version. Um, that's a coin <laughs> that he just got. Yeah, I love it. it's it's a bit. <laughs> It's a bit simple. I mean, Let's some say. games you do use your imagination with. Yep, and, you know. <laughs> you know what they're supposed to be. Yep. Um, <laughs> I remember playing that game to level 99 wow. when I was a kid. So it's the 5200 version. Old Style is in the uh, chat. Which, which looks really weird. Yeah. Oh, hey, Old Style. Yep. Old Style. Old Style. <laughs> Thank you for uh, joining us. He's the developer of the new... 7800 yeah. game. It's a little like Green and slow purple. motion. The colors are a bit weird. Turtles look okay. Yeah. They look a bit funny and happy. <laughs> but but they're they're pretty cool. They are pretty cool. The colors are a bit, you know, purple and green. Yeah. Not I really guess red you, and you only get yeah. a three or four colors? Yeah, depending on the resolution. Yeah. So here's the Commodore 64 version. Mm. And this is the one. I played a ton mm. um, when I was growing up, and I loved, loved, loved this version. It's it's quite good. The turtles look like the arcade. Yes. Um, Maybe it, just it, a little bigger. That's it, about it. Really. It moves really well. Yeah. Yeah. His his running seems to have a bit more speed than some of the other versions too. Yeah. It's it. I I find it very close to the, the arcade. arcade. Yeah. Don't jump on the turtles. <laughs> good. Good point, uh, RC70. Apple II unreleased. Yeah. So I've never played this one. And that classic Apple oh, II sound <laughs> from, the, II. from the speaker. Yeah. But the turtles look good, and like it looks like a very good port. Um, this one, ZX Spectrum. Always, oh, wow. always funky. But it looks like the turtles are nice graphics for the turtles, and they move well. Mario looks like he's got a he Pompadour? Looks, he looks, yes, he does. <laughs> like Elvis Mario. Yeah. Uh, uh, Amstrad, CPC. Similar similar to yeah. the ZX, actually. Yeah, very similar. Looks like the same Another Commodore design. 64. I never played this one. It's a oh. bit It's a bit different it and it kind of weird. Yeah. And it looks like he's constantly walking on ice. He can't say, yeah, seem to get up any... Yeah, he's quite a bit. There's like two speeds for him. Very strange. Uh, this one, we will actually be playing this one in a second, the 7800, so we're not going to look at that one. Okay. Um, here's the Atari 8-bit version of it. Atari 8-bit? Yep. And this is more toward, more, uh, close to the arcade version. It's got the arcade intro, like a demo, to show you how to play. Shell creeper. Music's a little slow and chunky. <laughs> and the turtles are kind of happy again. A little bit different. Mario's looks, character is a little bit wide. He looks a little, a little wide. more Luigi than uh, Mario. <laughs> yeah. It's all good, though. But it doesn't look like too bad of a version. I've never no. played this one. Uh, then the NES version. Hmm. This feels very Mario. Yep. Uh, this is actually the European later release. Oh, okay. What um, would be different between the European release? The I... European ones looks like the arcade, and the Nor North American version okay. looks weird. Oh, really? It looks like the 7800 version, like almost oh, exactly the same. weird. Um, I agree. You do this... want to jump on those turtles. <laughs> It, you just, yeah. it, you just, it just instinct. You want to jump and kick them off, you know. And then there's a bunch of Game Boy ones which look very different. Oh have yes. Screen scrolling and uh, this is Game Boy Advance, which is very closer to so the sweet. NES version. See, oh, this is they're like cute. the original so NES small. version. They're all compact. They're and very small, squishy, yeah. and they've got a hangy front mouth. It kind of blah, 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 blah. It goes like that. Like very uh, strange. Like a, a long upper lip. They're like crying on the ground too when you knock them over. <laughs> and this, see? Yeah. Their top lip or their shell. They go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, do they cry? I they kind that. of like cry when you when oh. they get knocked over. Do one. Do it. Oh, 
Yeah. Their mouths oh. open and close. And their, ah, their eyes ah. are a little bit longer. Like yeah. there's almost a tear. <laughs> yeah. <Aww>. So <laughs> there's a kind of a, a step through. Nice. Of all the different versions that were released back in the day. Um, now, let's play the original 7800 version. Okay. So, because some people, when I was posting this, they're like, oh, yeah. this, the original 7800 version is just is great. It's fine. It's yes. fine. It's great. And I'm like, I don't think you remember it correctly. And I don't know if you've compared it to the arcade and how different it actually is. Mm. Um, they look like Professor Farnsworth. <laughs> <laughs> Cover your ears. Yes. Also, the 7800 original uses the TIA and not Pokey. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's switch over to the 7800 if you want to grab the joystick. Atari, you need to reach the... Bring the joystick over. Kitty. Come here. Come here. Come on. Are you going to come and join us? Oh, he doesn't. Only for treats. Only for treats. He knows how this game is played. I don't think they like people bag on the the TIA music and sounds in this. I don't think it's terrible for TIA. Yeah. Um, which is the chip that the twenty six hundred uses. So you're on two player. There you go. You want to be what? Put it on white. It's very I, I, strange. I was like trying to change it, and I, I realized Probably want just up and down. So, oh. Actually, put it on two player. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> I mean, aw. <aww. laughs> Standard. Okay, do it. Okay. So they've got the flappy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Don't press the I, pow. I'm not doing it purposefully. <laughs> Look at the oh. flappy upper lip of, and they're so squishy. The turtles are so squished. They're so funny looking. They are. Get it. And the Marios are so squat and short. Really funny. They are short, you're right. Uh, the platforms and the pipes look really good, though. Oh, bounce Sorry. me into them. I'm playing Luigi. Oh, no. Or green Mario. <laughs> green Mario. <laughs> because Luigi kind of changed what he looked like. Um... I mean, it, it oh. plays okay. The momentum is... Get him, get him, get him, get Very him. different. Good job. And, and it's a fine, it's a fine version. Yeah. Um, oh, time to get the coins. Oh, you bounced me. Eight seconds. Get him. Yay. Okay. Oh, and we'll take a look at the... Um, Take a look at the next enemy. Oh, what? What? He does not want to settle. Take a look at the crabs. So they're kind of, they're, they're all squishy. Oh, they are funny. Right? They're very thin. Ah, come Everything's on. very thin in this version. The animation on the platforms is impressive. Yeah, it is really good, actually. Okay, that's enough of that. The best way we do is one from the Wrecking Crew. His colors are just bizarre. Got to say, I prefer the 800 version over the 7800. Yeah, the 800 mm -hmm. looks like it goes more towards the arcade version. Okay. They're now. funny, those, those turtles. Are you guys ready? Four. The premiere. Let's load it up. <laughs> it's hard not to play when it's running. I know. <laughs> okay. Everybody ready for the exclusive world premiere of Mario Brothers for the Atari 7800 done by Old Style and Synth Papalooza. Here we go. Drum roll. Arcade test screen. <laughs> nice. Nice. It is like, it's. it should be called Mario Brothers Arcade. 
because it's so close to the arcade. Look it at is. that. The wow. Beautiful score screen. That cycles. And I believe that's the cycle. Nice. So we'll just wait for it to come back. Nice. So I'll let you play one player while I go into the explanation. So, so there's, there's arcade or custom. There's one or two players. And you can go to the game as arcade or custom. So arcade is oh press button to get back to it. And again. So you can do novice, go, Four lives, go to skill. Bonus. Yeah. Novice, pro, expert, and mamma mia. Mama mia. Where you get one, one life. life. So you probably want to play a uh, novice, yes. which has four lives and 20, 40, and every 20 after that. Nice. Okay. And there it is, bottom. 2021 port, old style, pokey music, sound effects, synth popalooza. Nice. Okay. And start. And this is from today, this build. Ooh, look at that. Look at those turtles. Oh, they look great. Oh, wow. Can you kick off all the pests? The colors on this are just incredible, and the movement is feels so so right, and, and it shows you the points when you get get the turtles. That looks like the instruction screen in the arcade. Captain Classic says yes. Nice title screen. This is really nice. Mamma Mia skill level. <laughs> Mamma Mia is the hard difficulty. It's meant to be ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the animation is beautiful. Um, I also have an uh, interview with Old Style. It's done um, through text. Um, text interview. Because he's, he's a secret spy. <laughs> is he? <laughs> Doesn't want to reveal his identity. Um, so let's learn about Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers is a 1983 platform game developed and published by for the arcades by Nintendo. Ah! It was designed by Shigeru Miyamoto and Gunpai Yokio. Yokio, uh, Yokoi, Yokoi, Nintendo's chief engineer. Italian plumber Mario and his twin brother Luigi exterminate creatures emerging from the sewers by knocking them upside down and kicking them away. It is part of the Mario franchise, but originally began as a spin-off from the Donkey Kong series. Uh, Mario Brothers was ported by other companies to the 2600, 5200, 8-bit family at 7800, Amstrad CPC, and ZX Spectrum. The Commodore 64 has two versions, an Atari soft port. So, the Commodore 64 version that I played is from Atari, which is kind of funny. Mm. <laughs> which was not commercially released. And a 1986 version by Ocean Software, which is the kind of weird one. Uh... Uh, the Atari 8-bit computer version by Sculpted Software is the only home port which includes the falling icicles. So really, the Atari 8-bit port is... Oh, get it, get it. Oh, what are you doing? I, Go the other I'm way! I'm silly. I'm sorry. Oh, that no. was so silly. I always forget it wraps around. Yep. <sighs> Waiting for crabs. Here yes. come the crabs. Crabs are coming. Side steppers. Side steppers. Side steppers. They're in my origami uh, king. Oh, they call are them they? side steppers too, and I'm like, oh, that's they're where so... it comes from. Then with those guys, you have to hit them twice. Ah. Wraps around. They wrap around too. Sometimes they change directions. Love the font. Yeah, everything about this, you can tell, is lovingly handcrafted <laughs> to be as good as it possibly can. Um. A port uh, for Ninten by Nintendo for the Nintendo Entertainment System was released in North America ah! June 23rd, 1986. A later NES port was released exclusively in Europe in 1993 called Mario Brothers Classic Series, and that's the good version of the Mario uh, Mario Brothers that we saw in the... He's coming around! Oh, God! <laughs> I was, trying to, I was anticipating him kid jumping for this is, some This is a world that exists in a circle. Reason. reason. Ugh, so Can you change direction mid-jump? No, it's old school. Old school type of... Look, he's blinking. Well, he's upside down. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. Gameplay. Mario Brothers features two plumbers, Mario and Luigi, 
having to investigate the sewers of New York after strange creatures have been appearing down there. The objective of the game is to defeat all of the enemies in each phase. The mechanics of Mario Brothers only involve running and jumping. Unlike future Mario games, players cannot jump on enemies and squash them unless they are already turned on their back. Each phase is a series of platforms with pipes at each corner of the screen, along with an object called POW block in the center. Phases use wraparound, meaning the enemies and players that go off one side will reappear on the opposite side. The game continues until the players lose all their lives. Running into things. And if you notice... Yeah. The pipe on the left connects to the pipe on the left and the top. So if an enemy goes in the pipe on the left, it'll come out on the top left. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, go again. Go again. Oh, the ROM size, yes, is 272K, which is it's big. <laughs> it's real big. I love this way of typing in names, where it's all a, gri a grid rather than scrolling through. So much easier. Very nice. Okay, I should get turtles. to the interviews because people are asking questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the developer right now. All right. Um, so this is an interview with Old Style. Uh, what is your history with Mario Brothers arcade game and the various home ports of it? I'll take off my glasses. The arcade version had me mesmerized with its vibrant cartoon gra cartoonish graphics and memorable characters that look like what they were meant to represent. It was different than other games I was playing at the time, which were mostly space-themed shooters. Back then, I was lucky enough to live near a department store that had the cab, so whenever I had quarters to spare, I always tried to get a game in despite being awful at it. It was one of those games where I liked to watch other folks play, too, because I was so awful at it. As for ports, it's a few. Uh, the official 2600 version was visually dated for my tastes, and I never played the 5200 version. I expected more out of the NES port after being a blow blown away by, this, by Super Mario Bros. Alas, it was a huge letdown because of the flicker. It didn't feel challenging, and it looked like f and felt nothing like the arcade. Which is true. Uh, what was the inspiration behind starting 7800 port for Mario Bros.? <laughs> Jump! back up. Uh, quick answer. 2600 Donkey Kong, TEP's Donkey Kong, and the ColecoVision port. When the timeline starts and where to where it leads stretches well over a decade. Hard to believe, so I'll try to be brief. I've been into playing Donkey Kong a lot around the time of King, King of Kong was popular. I eventually found the ridiculous 2600 port of Donkey Kong that led me to a Batari Basic and this wild idea of redoing Mario for the 2600. That didn't last very long. It felt restrictive and difficult to pull off uh, what I envisioned, so I gave up rather quickly. I couldn't find the binary, but managed to dig up these uh, shots of the game, a minus version. So uh, his uh, screenshot that he sent me is basically the platforms um, and pipes. It was very, very rudimentary. Um, it wouldn't be until a years later I had seen TEP's port of Donkey Kong for the 7800, and it totally changed my outlook on what the 7800 could do graphically with sound. And with sound. For me, the official 7800 lineup was deceiving in what was possible. Uh, I'd been looking at other homebrews during this time as well, eventually seeing ColecoVision port of Mario, and was quite impressed by it. Knowing those systems existed around the same time from having seen TEP's port, Prior made me believe 7800 could do something similar, and it pushed me to try 7800 Basic, even though I was somewhat hesitant from not having a good experience with Batari Basic. Crap time. You can press the second button to skip. Oh, ah. Uh, 7800 Basic turned out to be complete opposite of what I imagined. As silly as it sounds, being able to create a sprite, having it display to move around was an epiphany for me. I felt I'd made more progress with this alone than anything I tried on the 2600. Early 2019 is when I officially started this project. How's the chat going? Bug, bug, bug. Oh, someone saw a bug. Stop running into creatures. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help. Remembering two-player multiplayer in the uh, original 7800 port back in the day, I think three-person multiplayer might be a bit over the top. Yeah, I'd love to see a three-player. It would get crowded. Really crowded. It's already crowded enough with, uh, with two. <laughs> oh, the dollar sign got stuck on the screen. So oh, interesting. It is a work in progress, so you are going to see some, some things here and there. 
Okay. Uh, tell us a bit about Synth Papalooza's involvement and how Bobby came to be part of the project. Bobby reached into his big bag of pokey and contributed all of it to Mario. I sensed he really liked the first videos I shared. He offered and immediately shared without hesitation what he had, and with help from Matt providing the hooks, it saved so much time. I joke about it saving several years, but there is a truth to it as I was expecting to try it later on myself. Theirs and many others have fingerprints with the sound engine and I can't thank them enough. What do you think of the original... Uh, uh, maybe you should read this out and I'll play. No, no, keep no, going, keep good? going. Yeah, I'll play for a little bit. Uh, what do you think of the original 7800 release of Mario Brothers for the 7800? I didn't own a 7800, so it was just a few years ago I played the 7800 release for the first time. I felt it was okay gameplay-wise, but not enough to keep me engaged. Obviously, the sound and graphics are rugged. I didn't have high expectations for it, like the NES, and was surprised to see a few sprite similarities between the two, which is true. And I dug up a, uh, a comment from... Let's see... Uh, Daryl 1970's description of the original... 7800. When I saw the 7800 version, I threw up a little in my mouth. It was a poor implementation of the already lacking NES port. The controls were off, animation choppy, and the game lacked even more of the details. Like the level 2 shell, tre shell creeper trap, level 3 in the Japanese version. The inertia is practically non-existent, which is a big part of the chaos. Then the sound is the sound just took it over the edge. Somebody wants to see the flies. Come on. The flies. Oh, Gotta make I it. I forgot about the flies. Stop getting chomped. Well, you're doing better. You have well, three guys okay. on the... Oh, you actually just started over. You're still on the turtle level. Oh, gosh. This is brutal. No! no! <laughs> People are screaming at their screen. <laughs> I don't play this game very often. <laughs> uh -huh. The arcade, you slip a bit when changing direction. Yeah, yeah you Tenny do. Tenny doesn't want to quit. It's a fun game. Tenny, you can kill the fireballs by hitting the platforms as I, they come I in contact with the floor. I do know that. Ah. Ah. Ah, there are too many! <laughs> Why can't I stop them? You should be able to stop them. <laughs> That's a different game. Ah, I'm doing terrible this round. Uh, what is your history with programming? and specifically programming for the 7800. This appears to be your first 7800 game, as far as I can tell, and it's an inc incredible feat at that. I'm gonna play the next round. Yeah, you'll, he'll, you'll see the flies when James gets to play. I was exposed to programming at a very young age. Pet basic. It wasn't heavy. I made a spade move around the screen. <laughs> I spent more time waiting on a math blaster game to load than learning basic. It wasn't until high school where I picked up programming again, starting with Turbo Pascal, then over the years getting into other languages. I looked at it like driving, in that I've been doing it for a long time, knowing the ins and outs like anyone else. Oh, you're gonna die soon. Probably. So I will just oh. wait for that to happen. The fireball. <laughs> mean fireballs. There you go. Two, pl two players simultaneous. It's always best that way. Yeah, we will get true. to that. Yes. Um, Where'd you get to? Kay. Top that one. I uh, will put in your name. Yeah, the, the uh, name entering is nice. Awesome. Very arcadey. So I'm gonna play novice, so I can get as far as possible. Okay, for me, there's a very specific feel to the jumping, turning around, and platform edge collision in Mario Brothers. How much work went into finessing of the movement? So my, uh, uh, old style says, my approach was to mimic as close as I could the movement from the arcade while taking into account the condensed field of play. Mario having longer horizontal jumps in the arcade turned into a higher vertical instead. Yet in both instances, they land in the same place. So there was plenty of emphasis on where the player should be in relation to everything else after jumping or sliding. It was a feel out process, hours and hours of it, I bet. As you're aware, <laughs> Aware of uh, from it being quite stiff and robotic to where it is today with everything eased and fluid. Yes, I was on yeah. the beta testing team, so I saw the iterations of... The evolution that, of it a little. Yeah. yeah. There's an element of momentum in the game that other ports have missed, including the NES, in being able to pre-slide before jumping or sliding off a floor and landing into a step instead of a slide. 
even though it's a small detail, I think it makes a huge difference in how the character handles. It handles beautifully. Like, it feels like... Feels right. It feels good. It feels good. There's a certain challenge to the slip, the slipperiness of the movement, too. Which is... Ah! I know I didn't say it. Oh, no! <laughs> I'll get it. Back. There you go. Half a, half a second. Yeah, that was close. Very good. Uh, what were some compromises and challenges with making Mario Brothers for the 7800? In general, development was filled with tons of trial and error, getting the feel for the 7800. Early on, whenever I was stumped, I'd stop working on the project for months and then come back to it with my head cleared, experimenting with new ideas until something would stick or until that aha moment came to be. Then, stumped again, stop for a while, and return, rinse, repeat. Uh, March of this ah. year would be the start of when I devoted time consistently without many long breaks. So really got back into it in March. Mm. Squeezing all the sprites in, with not only plenty of room for decent animations, but the proper colors to boot, was perhaps the biggest challenge, aside from the never-ending challenge of Cycle's slowdown. Uh, the game is unique in that nearly all of the sprites are visible together at one point or another, with exception of a turtle crab fly phase. This has it. Mm. I did not want the purple skin turtle. <laughs> I wanted big and menacing green and red fireballs. Yes. Since the hardware can't mirror sprites, it became essential to hash out the most efficient combos to mimic the arcade look and limit redundancy. In that regard, the alternate POW color was the compromise being green instead of yellow. Huge win in my book. I worked on sprites th throughout up until a month ago. So, a lot of development. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Crabby crabs. Here he comes. Fast crab. Get him. Oh. There's a fireball coming. I know. We gotta, gotta get, get out of the way. <laughs> fly time. Oh, look at the fly. Fighter fly. Fighter fly. Now I know all the names. <laughs> oh, there are blue and purple crabs. Yeah. Now this is when it gets challenging. Oh, you have to time it perfectly. Yeah. At least they only take one hit. Yes. That is a good thing. Two. Woo! Oh, now he's fast. He's gone into fast mode. Yep. He Come can, on down. He can... He can... Ah. Oh! That was close. That was very close in terms of dying, actually. What's left to be done? in the game. There are several bugs. Ha ha ha, bugs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I want to patch before <laughs> moving on to... Uh, what Sorry, is it? it crashed. Slip, slip, slipus? It, it crashed? crashed? Aww. Or froze. Anyway. Yeah. Speaking of bugs. <laughs> slip, what's slipus? Slipus? Slip ice. Slip ice. Yeah, because there's little ice, ice guys that go along and turn the whole platform into oh, ice. Oh, okay, yeah. Fireball collision during entry. Yeah, that's... Yeah. So there are several bugs I want to patch before moving on to slip ice related items, then setting up the remainder of phases and fi finalizing the base game. After that, depending on how much room I have to work with, I might freestyle a little, little with different floor sprites and palettes. Cool. So you do it. You knock the turtles off down to the lower it, it's floor. It's great because then, yeah. Then you don't have to move. It's too to hard the with right. the crabs though because they uh, move too fast. Oh. Ah! They don't always fly off. Sometimes they do. I think it's it... all depends on where you are in yeah. relation to oh, really? them. Like you ugh, see, it wasn't far enough along. Mm -hmm. Like if I do it there, it'll you knock just... them back. That guy's gonna get red though. Red guy. So there's a lot of like things you can do. Like you can hop backwards. I did it once. It's yeah. I'll try it another time. Ah! ah. Ooh, <laughs> just. Was a coin op version this nice looking? Yes. Yes, coin op looks really nice. Mm, the game hasn't really started until Slip Ice shows up. <laughs> <laughs> then it gets challenging. When starting work on this game, oh, yeah. When starting work on this game, did you think about the possibility of a project derailment from the big end? <laughs> Not in the beginning. It wasn't until I learned about Princess Rescue it has spooked me since. <laughs> Scary. 
Uh, what are your release plans for the game in terms of a binary and physical release? Once the remaining parts are in, I will prep a hardy demo, and after that get feel for the preferred form factor. Give it roughly a month more, maybe two, depending on my personal time. So yeah. a month or two before you guys can experience it too. That's cool. Approximately. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add about the game development or anything else I didn't cover? I can't believe it got this far. <laughs> Over years, I've worked on maps and mods of some of my favorite games and never saw them through like this. The last major mod project I was toying with was in Torchlight 2, Tetris-style inventory, armor, weapon, durability, item crafting. Ah. You can see where that was leading to, lol. <laughs> These guys get they don't oh, they get quick. it quick. So they don't give you fast. any warning either. Smack them. Great challenge for myself. Here. <gasps> oh! Fireball! And now he's a blue. Blue ice crab. Oh, that was oh. oh! See his big claw comes out when yeah. he hits you? It's like his claw goes huge yeah. when you get this fireball. Nice. See, that's how you do it. Ugh, oh, he's a purple. <sighs> I'm gonna show getting the fireball. There you go. Yeah. There's a fireball get. You can get all of them, except the fireballs get angrier. <laughs> so if they I do. get this fireball, oh, <gasps> getting faster. If I get this fireball, it'll turn into an even angrier fireball. Blue. Look at it. It's angry. <laughs> <laughs> this thing like pissed off crabs. <laughs> Battle Toad esque. What was Battle Toad esque? I wonder what that is. I don't know. Hmm. See, yeah, you, you have to get it from the edge. Yes. Yeah, I get it. So I can pile them up. Ah! No. And then he becomes purple crab! Angry purple crab! <laughs> There we go. Good timing. Looks like the score is indeed glitching on the bonus round. Yes. Under emulation, I'd see the timer glitch. Glitch. Mm. The crab claw. Yeah. Very. Oh, the cra crab claw. Oh, is is uh, Battle Toad esque because there's something in Battle Toads where something gets big, right? Where when you oh, touch when it. Oh, when he when he punches, he gets super big ah. punch punch hand. Yes. Yeah. That's what they're referring to. There we go. Like what? What in Battle Toads? It was my game. <laughs> yep. My game back in the day. Not that I ever completed it, but... You did pretty good. I Watch get, the cat. I, I got pretty far. So I tend to leave that game. red fireball alone, because it just gets worse if you hit it. It gets angry. This one you can get. And it doesn't matter. Okay, Mr. Fly. Oh, okay. Going up there. I love oh. the colors of its flickering colors. Yes! The wings? Beautiful. Like, all the colors in this game are just so vibrant. Mm. Ah! It's all in the timing. Yeah, it's so difficult to get these mm -hmm. guys, because they're only on the, the ground for a second, right? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No, no, no. Oh. oh! What are you doing? Playing with the joystick. I'll get it. I'll get that fly. Mm. I beat Battle Look, he's in playing two two-day rentals. You see Is him? he? Yeah, he's, I saw him. He was doing, smacking he's the pressing the joystick I know. direction. He could play a game <laughs> if he wanted to. You just gotta entice him with treats. He thinks it's Look at him! You can't see He's him. He's actually pressing to the left. You can actually in the yeah, cat cam. Yeah, 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 oh, oh, that got him excited. Oh, it froze. Just in time. That's okay. Come here. Oh. Oh, it's. Oh. The. Uh, you can hear the, the fly going. The fly sound is going. If the teacher... One step closer to resetting the console. Yeah. Well, if we can. Little by little. Wire up the bell to reset the console. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We're going to take a tiny break for the cat treats, and we'll play two players. Okay. Okay, yeah, I heard you. I heard you.
It's treat time. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Is the timer countdown in the same horizontal line as the score? Hmm. Unexpected pause. <laughs> I've been looking into that, I've been developing this under emulation, so some of the bugs are manifesting in different ways. Parents wouldn't buy games for $50, so most games for NES were $2 to $5 yeah. rentals. I think the only games we bought were Super Mario Bros. 3, a very good value for your money. <laughs> That's one way to do it, kitten. You got it. Smack it. There, there you go. go. Good kitty. And that's the ones that came with the system. It was funny because I bought this, Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe for Tanya for Christmas. And we pop it in, like it's wrapped, it's sealed, it's brand new. We yeah. pop it in and somebody's played it. And we're like, <laughs> we have this game. We, yeah. look, we look on the shelf, but we don't have it. It's yeah. the pack-in game. Yeah. <laughs> the digital pack-in game. realize it. Which is fine because I, I like physical media anyway. Hopefully it wasn't too expensive. Probably not. No, it was on sale. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have way too many treats. We got to get back to the game. No, 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 no. There's just a couple more. <laughs> you can play play well, another round. See. They can't see them. No, no, no. We're gonna play two players now. Okay. This is the last of the treats. Ring, Ring that, that bell. bell. Ding, yeah. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> he has incentives. Yes. Ding, ding. Like he was literally pressing to the left. It, he was. He was like, that's he my, that's a bell. It. That's a bell. Yeah, yeah. Treats, please. Treats. <laughs> that's Oh, you tried <laughs> to smack it out of your hand. <laughs> Almost out. Look. Empty. Yep. Empty. Okay. So let's play two player. Graduated from kneecaps to joystick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Atari's better. Uh, he still cries a lot without Pixel. Yeah. Um, but it's not as much as before. Yeah, he's he's getting used to it a little bit. Okay. Don't take my bell. Two players. Novice. All right. Starter up. Then we're gonna play hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna last very long. That was oh. me taking his mouth. No. Yeah. Oh, oh, kitties. So I'm, I'm Luigi. Oh, there, I hopped backwards. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> he made it up one level. <laughs> I blame you. <laughs> Trying to do it all yourself. Oh, the cat left now. He's yeah, like, he's well, like... treat time's over. I'm done for the day. I'm done with you people. Oh, oh that was you, not me. Forced me into it. I love they can meet in the middle on the top level yeah. and turn around and not make it down. Look at them. <laughs> Metal Storm and Zombie Nation. How much did you pay for that? Metal Storm's awesome. Oh, I finally did it. So much easier with two people. Oh yeah. One person can take any the ones any missed that ones. Yeah 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 yeah. I think the Firefly Fighter Fly color changes as they increase speed are actually easier to see in this version than the arcade. The, the colors are gorgeous in the Fighter Fly um, Angry Fighter Fly. We'll do better with two people. Maybe. Ah! Sorry. Ah! That was my bad. That you was my him. bad. I know. Ah! Oh, I love this. Oh, oh! I was trying to jump and you jumped on me. <laughs> what a mess. That was my fault. What a mess. Oh, watch out. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Sometimes it's 
it's not easier with two people. No, sometimes <laughs> it's way more trouble. Ah! Oh, uh. get out of the way! Ah! Ah! This is way worse. <laughs> way, way, way worse. Okay, he's coming out your side. Is he? Get ready. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Player not so cooperative. <laughs> that is not co-op. Okay, your name. Nostalgic says, sounds like when my wife and I played Super Mario Brothers Wii and Wii U. Stop jumping on my head. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Captain Classic four or seven dollars a game, but we bought seventy plus games, so probably two eighty to four ninety for all the games in nineteen ninety two dollars. That's a good deal. Mm. That went downhill fast. <laughs> It did. It was good at the beginning, then it was bad. <laughs> Very funny. We'll do one more novice game. Okay. And then we'll... that was terrible. We're not getting far and hard. Oh, don't sell Metal Storm. I'll buy it for seven dollars. Mario. I'm saying Mario. Mario. Yeah, maybe I say Mario instead of Mario. I don't know. Mm. Probably depends on the context and what I'm saying. Yeah. That's true. Clean them up, I guess. Sure. <laughs> well, I'm gonna stay down here because when we're on the same level, it goes turns into chaos. So. Goes. Uh, what's that saying? Um. <laughs> what is it? Um. Wumpus. What is w it? What? What? Oh gosh, it makes me laugh. Oh, I can't remember the the word. Caddy. Caddy Wumpus or Caddy something Wampus? like that. Caddy Wumpus. What? What does that come from? What? What country? Sounds British. Oh, it is so funny. I, I've, I've Caddy heard Wampus. it. Caddy He knew what Caddy we... Wampus. That night. That's got to be some weird, like, like Minnesotan, like <laughs> word or something. I don't know. I, I, I. Recently, there's been um, some people YouTubers saying it. saying it quite frequently, and which I was is like, so what funny. The hell? Why is everyone like, saying Caddy Wampus? All of a sudden, yeah. <laughs> it's like a thing. I think it's American. Ah. I think it is Wisconsin, Wisconsin or yeah, like. Somewhere from the northeast, for sure. Did we hear it on Red Letter Media? We heard it on Red Letter Media, oh, and then there's, like well, I said, there's... they're from Wisconsin, so that makes a lot of sense. Maybe. So, Cattywampus, Cattywampus is a feline bird. <laughs> the <laughs> Wampus. The Wampus. <laughs> Cattywampus hunt. Cattywampus. Kitty corner. Oh, Kitty oh, Corner is, is one I, I hear a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, they're that's... saying it's a variant of Kitty Corner. What? Really? No. No, it's when things are all crazy. weird and crazy and mixed up. And... Ah, ah, run! Ah, run! Ah, run away! <laughs> Maybe there's more than one definition of we're using it wrong. Or it's evolved. I don't know. Or it's evolved. It's all cattywampus. Or it may mean savage and destructive. An imaginary fierce wild animal. Really? It's cattywampus? Maybe it's no. evolved from... He went the other way. I wasn't expecting him to go in that direction. Get those crabs. They're ready. They're ready for you. Get that turtle. Yeah. Oh, that's a long, uh, long URL. <laughs> yeah, you can hop backwards if you, oh, missed it. If you jump just as about you're about to turn around. Oh. When you oh. you're messing up my jumps, get out of the way! <laughs> get out of the way! Get out of the way! Oh no! Ah! Ah! Didn't mean that. What? I thought you were gonna get him. I was trying, but I didn't make it, and you flipped him over. <sighs> ah! Why did he? I always think you're gonna turn around. I don't know why, but they don't necessarily. I can't knock you off. Don't! Hey! <laughs> now I'm dead. No, you're not. You're fine. <sighs> These flies are slow, though. They are. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, God, I didn't get them. I know. There we go. Get them. I gotta get this oh, one no. first. There ah, we go. Ah, ah. ah, watch out for the fire. Yeah. There we go. Better. 
Catty Wampus. Catty Wampus. Oh. oh, oh, it froze again. It froze on the, oh. It seems to freeze on this level. Okay, what is Captain Classic saying about Catty Wampus? Cat, Catty, Katie Corner, Katie Cur Corner. Catty Wampus has nothing to do with cats. <laughs> Kitty Corner, Catter Corner. French Court, mm. Ah, I can't control. I'm the little brother nice. who can't control the settings. Get those crabs. Yes, it does sound a little weird to say get those crabs. <laughs> Set it to. What do you want me to do? Uh, skill level. Oh, Harder. We're, we're going. Two players. Set it to expert. Mamma mia. Mm, sure. Let's do mamma mia. Let's see just... how that goes. Oh, the difference, old old style. The difference between all the different. Start it up different uh, hardnesses. Is it just bonus and lives, or did the enemies start? Well, we'll see soon enough. If enemies are faster, and it's the only thing they can be is faster, right? They don't really do anything. Oh, the, there's fire. More fire. Oh, there's more fire. Yeah, so I just think it starts up this early. Yeah, the fireballs are aggressive. They're very aggressive. Ah! Why did you turn it over? I didn't mean to! Get it! I, yeah, it's a turtle. Ah, right. there's a fire! Run away! <laughs> ah. Oh my goodness. Well, cat's going crazy out there. Crazy. He's gone cattywampus. He's gone cattywampus. <laughs> oh, the cat's gone cattywampus. Yeah. Nice. I'll get him. Or you can. Oh, three fireballs. Uh, beside our a custom one, which you can set it to whatever you want. Ah, uh, so there's can, a fire. So you can set it to hard with lots of levels, uh, lots of lives. I mean. oh, nice. Oh, there's so many fireballs. So many. It's Mamma Mia is all fireballs all the time. I love jumping backwards. There, get him. Awesome. I beat Mario Brothers by kicking my crabs. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, we only have one life. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Teamwork's no fun. I did notice some differences. Yeah. So, what is the custom you. option? So, if you go to custom, mm -hmm. then you can set these individually. You can set how many lives. Oh, you have. I see. And then you can set. Instead of it being set. So, you can set the bonus. To a good bonus, tons of lives on super easy. Or you can put it on Mamma Mia and have tons of fireballs but lots of lives. Lots of lives. So let's Smart. do that. Start it up. Mm. Can you kick off the pests? Maybe. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Fireball! Ugh. So many fireballs. Oh, I got hit by a fireball. Uh, was it crashing on that phase in the earlier build? No, it was not crashing on that phase. I was able to play till I died. Like, I, I could keep playing. So maybe I should play um, an earlier build and try that out. Is that the suggestion? So we can see the, the later levels. Because I think there's some ice levels. Ah, fire. Ugh, two fireballs killed me. Gosh. Mario's face was perfect with the fireball in his face. Yeah, he uh, gets a little frazzled. What's going oh. on? Oh, there's the turtle. I'm like, there's no enemies. <laughs> yeah, no, plenty of enemies up there. Yeah, do D. Okay, so I'm gonna load. Do what? Uh, yeah, another version, fine. so we can make it further. Yeah, pull is closed. Oh. Ow. Are you okay? Shocking. You get zapped? Yep. Shocking. Shocking uh -oh. revelation. <laughs> so we're gonna load up an old, older version because it seems to crash quite consistently on the. 
fight or fly level. So just bear with us. For a short period of time. And I'll load up the other one. So did you play this game or were aware of this game when you were younger? Yes. Yes, okay. I don't think I played it very much, but I was certainly aware of it. What, 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 what are you looking for? <laughs> oh, oh, calm down. Tomkins. He's <laughs> got the wind up his butt right now. Yep. He's been running around up and down the stairs. Full of... Beans. Full of beans and full of treats. Full of cat beans. Okay, we're good. Oh, well, there right. it goes. What's, what are you looking for? Treats. <laughs> Always treats. Aww. Old Style says, I eventually run out of things to break. <laughs> <laughs> this is the... The longest loading game. It's such a huge game. Okay, we are back in business. <laughs> yes, you did cite a sit sprite. He was he was in between the couch cushions for a bit there. Here he is. You want a sit sprite? Oh, doesn't seem too too. Close. You're gonna play player two. You're not paying attention. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna play. You're gonna play a solo? Yeah. Yeah. See how far you can get. Get yeah. past the, um, the flies. Flies. So I'm gonna do custom, okay. novice, lots of lives, yeah. lots of bonus. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. Gotcha. I love the custom though. Yeah. That, you know, if you're struggling, you just give yourself a whole bunch of extra lives so you can make it a little further. I don't know if other versions had that ability to. I, don't think, so. <laughs> I think that's great. Because uh, it's not an easy game. It takes quite a bit of play to get used to it. So, so I'm going to give you... At least it does me. <laughs> what are you um, giving me? A website to look at. I can be safe there because there's what? no fireballs. Oh. Um, tips and tricks for this game. Okay. And it also has like... What were you saying about there being no fireballs? Oh my god. <laughs> it just missed me. Fireball RC70. Fireball! Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the heads up. There needs to be a function in the chat that's like Ding. a scream. Like, yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pay that's, attention. That's going to be abused. No, yeah. People are pretty good in this chat. No, I was thinking of putting something in the chat because sometimes they're like, I can't see the screen. I can't see the screen, right? Some tips or tricks here. Yeah, they do glitch. They actually glitch to the music, the um, which is kind of funny. Um, that is a known bug. Could be my setup. When is this coming up? Uh. There is an expected demo in one to two months. What is the name of the famous can screen? That's the Wilhelm screen. Wilhelm, yeah. And we were watching Lord of the Rings the other day. Oh, yes. And I, For the I, 20th anniversary. And I heard it in each of the movies. It's very really? near the beginning in each of them. Really? Like yeah. during, during a war scene or... Yeah, somebody gets thrown off something. Oh, that's funny. In each of them. Yeah, I could do the Wilhelm screen. That'd be funny. That might be a good one. <laughs> it's a bit. It's a bit. It's weird. a bit much, though. It is quite a lot. A, maybe like a ding would be nice, so it's not like so over the top. A really shortened version of the Wilhelm screen. Still on the hard level? No. No, no, no. Easy. Easy peasy. Nice. Ooh, Easy job. peasy. It's all so in every indie movie. And oh, yeah. Quite a so few of many Wars. of the movies. Yeah, it's like a film thing to do. Yeah, a film thing to do. Just shove it in there somewhere. Yeah. I didn't put it in mine because mine was a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> 
It doesn't quite work. You're basically saying, though, that you would have if you could have. Uh, no, it's, it's such a so extreme. Ah. It's so noticeable, though. Yeah, well, I, when you're when you're listening for it. Maybe to, like, people who don't know it, yeah. don't hear it, but I hear it. And it just bugs me. Because it's so silly. Like, ah! But it's from an actual movie. Like where somebody makes movie? that real that that noise that with the yeah from a really old movie. Ah. The game plays so good. It it's it it looks great too. Yeah. Good Everything job. about it is unbelievable. Like 2600 Donkey Kong sound being used in TV shows. Yeah. Whenever they want to have live video. Yes, they use the same sound bank every time. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that was cool. It was levitating. It was a levitating fly. Come on. That was cool. Yep. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, that's how they wake up, which is pretty cool, actually. It is cool. I like how they wake up. Come on. Get over there. Levitating flies. Oh, that fireball. It's going for you. Getting, getting in my way. Oh, it's coming back. Go up. There we go. There we go. Dangerous. Oh, he jumps over. Last time. There we go. There we go. Phew. Backwards jump. Up to the top. Nice. I can't remember what the movie was about. It was in. It's a black and white movie. Oh yeah, it's, it's like old. Really old. I'm not gonna get that fly at the top. Oh, we're on crabs and frosting. See, this is further than um, we did last we did time because it was only it was only flies last time. Ooh, can I make it? Nice. That was really, close. That was really, really, really close. Huh. You can oh, hit him. Oh, oh. oh no, you can't hit him from there. <gasps> stupid. stupid. You jumped stupid. over. Stupid. Oh no. I thought I wouldn't go that far. Oh no. I like the flies a lot. I love the, the colors. The, oh, the colors Gorgeous. are great. You can run underneath the fly. Oh yeah, I guess you can if you time it right. Really? <laughs> oh my god, I've never done that. It sounds very risky. I'll have to try it though. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, you're timing. Oh. You're just, it's, it's I hard. I hate it. It is hard. You have to be right. Really up. precise. Yeah. Really precise. Oh, they take so long to get through and back again. Ah. There Final. you go. One more. Now he's angry. He's the last one. Angry fly. Oh. Oh. Diamonds. Get him down here. There you go. Woo! Are you ready for the next phase? Look, look. Oh! Ice skulls! Oh, it's slippery. It's slippery time. Good suggestion, old style. So we can show these off. Oh, damn it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna get perfect. How dare you? How dare it's you harder. live stream and not get perfect every <laughs> single time? It's much harder on the ice. <laughs> and now there's slippery parts. Ah. So the slip ice isn't in this yet. Is that what he was... Yeah, the actual creature. The creature isn't. You just have the slidey platforms. And this is what they do to the yes. platforms. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So it's, you can pretend they're in here. You never get your pows back, do you? Nope. One set of pows. Oops. Oh, he's on the pow. Oh. Not perfect. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Zero deaths. Perfect game. Oops. Up here. Temporarily. This was one of my favorite games growing up because yeah. I love platformers and this is one of the Ultimate, early, early, early Ultimate yeah. platformers because there's so much variation going on with the different creatures and the slippy, slippiness of the ice. Yeah. There's just a lot of variety. 
And a lot of variety in, so the, much in the monsters, too. And two-player as well, which is also awesome. Not many platformers that are no. two-players, like back then. No. I got so used to the 2600 version allowing you to kick off Melting Slip Ice that I forgot you couldn't do it in other versions. Oh. Captain Classic says Jumpman was the best platformer. Jumpman's awesome, and I played the hell out of that too. Angry <laughs> <laughs> crabs. Mm. Here you go. Get both of them. Get them. Get them before they levitate and fly off. I love how they levitate too. Yeah. Crabs are dangerous to leave alone for too long. Oh yeah. They get so fast. Yeah. There's a, they get up so a quick. fast crumb guy no. coming. Ah! Oh, missed the platform by that just, much. Just by a touch. Oh, he's coming out. Yep. So, there we go. Oh. 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 Oof. That was close. Okay. Got you now. Yay. So when coming out? <laughs> One to two that? months. Oh, look Look at that. The icicles are falling now. <gasps> They're falling. Very nice. Nice. Good suggestion on getting this, on um, playing this version of it. Oh, it's great. So we can show off everything. Oh my god. No! Oh, it's not going to hit the platform. Is it? Oh, it oh is. you just got him. Oh, oh! What? Jumped over him. There he is. And he's on the platform again. On the, on the pal! Oh, oh nice! Woo. Damn, this is impressive. It is yes, impressive! it is. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful I port. Tower collections. The answer to that question is always, it will be released when it's done. Well, that too. <laughs> it's expected to be one or two months, but... Yeah. You know. It looks so good, though! So good. Earlier in the episode, he outlines what's left to do. Yes. I mean, the slip ice ah, is, uh, is not implemented. Just the results of it. Ah. Mm -hmm. You just have right off the bat frozen levels. Yeah. yeah. I like the icicles. I don't oh, think they're... I've ever encountered those in my playing of the game I over the years. I don't think they were in the uh, um, Commodore 64 version. No. Actually, I think what I read out, it was only on the Atari 8-bit version. Mm -hmm. Those icicles. Oh my god. Where is, there is the turtle. He's mad as hell. It's not going to take it anymore. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the sound is done by... Everything's done ex by um, old style. Slippy slippy. Except for the sound and music, which is done by Synth Papalooza. It's getting it's very, very manic. manic. It's, the ice skulls really kind of. Yeah, you have to dodge a lot. And by the way, this is an accurate representation of what Vancouver is like right now. Yes. It's like minus twelve, which is not a thing in Vancouver usually. It's pretty and crazy. The, the thing is, people may go, "Oh, minus twelve, that's nothing." But we don't have the facilities to deal with minus twelve. <laughs> No. We don't have snow tires. We don't have fireplaces. We don't have central well, we do. heating. We do, but, but a lot of people um, don't. We uh, don't have central heating. Our big issue is our pipes freeze because yeah. we don't really have um, enough insulation on one side of our house, which is brutal. You jumped over him. That was on really purpose. Good. Very real. Yeah, but that was. <laughs> that it was, was very. Good. I thought it was gonna die though. Nice. <gasps> ah, no. There we go. Payback. Got hit pretty bad in Seattle. Yeah, the whole West Coast. Terrible. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh there you get to see freezing. <laughs> that was good. Oh, one okay. more. I thought that was your last life. Oh, there's so many things all over the place. I'm going to have to get that crap. It's splendid night. Who needs insulation? Yeah, that's for... Vancouver sounds like Texas of the North. Not uh, no. an entirely inaccurate description, really. <laughs> no, Calgary's Texas. Well, no, but or I mean, Alberta. as far as, as far as, like, temperature, you know, uh... Right this year, yes. yes. 
relatively. Yeah. There's no insulation in my house, and I'm in New York State. Oh, splendid. Not that snuck. Really? <laughs> New York State is cold. Calgary Stampede. Uh, yes, I've been there many times. To the Calgary Stampede. Yeah. I grew up in Calgary. Part, part time. Part time. Yeah. A few years. From How like age three to six. Okay, so quite young. Six? I thought you were Something there. Like well, you were there for university for a very brief oh, period nine of months. time. Yeah. Not very long. No. Uh, okay. Um, you didn't read any of the strategies. And none of it was strategy. It was just like, this is what happens. Then this is what happens. It oh. wasn't strategy. I, I, I glanced through it, but nothing jumped out. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was more of a, more of Walk like through. a, this is what happens, not here's how you beat the game. So... That ten line version is super impressive. Ten, yeah. Ten line of Oh hey, ten liner version did, has only turtises and fireballs. Nice. That's, that's incredible. We did play <gasps> Fitoko's Mario. Did we play as Mario? Yes, yeah. we did. We did. Yeah. Wow. Ten lines making Mario. That's incredible. Yeah, platformer and ten lines. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. They're very long ten lines, but yeah. they are ten. <laughs> um, so should we play Two player again, novice, super easy version. We can try. Yeah. So, <laughs> two player, custom, novice, live, six. There we go. Okay. So, I am Luigi. Okay. Oh, this joystick's cold. <laughs> Tanya's Mario. Let's see how far. Hey! hey. Ugh, Causing rude. trouble. Uh, me? <laughs> no. Did Vitoko do Moon Patrol in 10 lines? <laughs> if he didn't, he should. I can't remember the, all of his games because there's like, oh, so many games. And we played all of them and we played them all for like, was it three minutes each? It was very quick. Well, you're gonna get, ooh, just barely. Just got him. Yeah, Moon Patrol, I bet you could do Moon Patrol. It's, a, it's a, like a continuous thing and you could just put in random uh, holes in yeah. the ground. And random ships flying in. So you don't have to store, like, level information. Oh, I thought I would hop over him, but he's too slow. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna get that guy. Have to wait. Bounce. Hey! Hey! <laughs> mm -hmm. eh, 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 eh. I wonder if I can get above your head. Is there enough room? On a s no, there's not. That's for you. Thank you. That's for you. Thank you. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. fight. <laughs> Oops. Can you get that one on the right? Uh. Thank you. Just don't include any crater makers in the 10 line of moon patrol and I'll be on board. <laughs> yeah, the crater makers are annoying. You have to be on your toes. Because uh, there's spaceships that make craters when they bomb. And those are the ones that usually kill me. Moon Patrol is another game I played the hell out of on my Commodore 64. I slowed him down a little bit. By, hop, by, by jumping. It's like by chasing me. Yep. Joust. Oh, no, no, that would that's be a bad not good. Time. There's a lot of anger going. <laughs> oh no, joust is not. Joust not two my player favorite. with us would be uh, would be quite a mess. Oh, It'd be fun though. <laughs> we played joust before. We did that at a retro gaming night. Yeah, because there isn't a homebrew joust, so we've never played on the show. We had a joust tournament, I believe. Did we? Yes, yes, we did. We did. Oh, 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 oh. It's too slow. Boink. Oh! <laughs> it's funny, eh? Squishes down. It looks so good. No more. It's coming. Oh no! Ah! Good job. Whoa! I don't know how I dodged that. <laughs> Are there stages in Joust where you specifically get extra points for killing the other player? I believe you do. Oh really? But I mean, Joust is hard enough without a human opponent trying to kill you. I find Joust very challenging. But I don't think I've played it enough to get good at it. I would like to be good at it. It's very fun. Oh. Let it run. Hit him. Oh, come on. Oh, he almost 
almost got me. Oh, I'm just like off by a touch. I can confidently say that this is the best home port oh. Mario Brothers ever oh, made. Oh, yeah. Ah! Ah, oh, he's mad. Oh, that oh, was, was actually good. Trying to to wait bounce for me him. over. <laughs> oh. Run! Luckily, you can run away from these guys because they take so long to move. He's coming through on the right. Oh, uh oh. oh, oh. Fireball. Run! Ah, no! He bit you! Oh. Horse fly. Horse fly, black fly. Oof. Damn it. They jump further, I think, when they're um when they're angry. I know they move faster, but I think they jump further. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, turned around. Damn it. I know. I always do that. How it! No, that's How it. just as hard to time out. No. Oh, he's coming out this way. Oh! oh. It's flies! Fighter fly. I know a fireball's about to come. It's gonna oh, it always thwart does. my efforts here. Maybe you'll uh, attract it. Finally! Oh, God. Yay! Backwards jump. Woo! No crater makers in my 10 line version of Moon Patrol. Just a single spaceship that fires a bomb. Oh, let's get this one. We can do it. Excellent. Get up there. High five. <laughs> nice. Joust 2 was fun changing between Ostrich and Pegasus. I never played Joust 2. Nice. Get him. Oh. Where am I? Oh. Okay. Oh, damn it. Didn't make it. Oh, they smacked each other in the nose. Fireball. Oh, oh, oh. Get oh, that guy. Oh. Distract the fireball. I think this will be the best home version, but the best home versions aren't so far aren't well known. Yeah. They are the Famicom, not NES version. Yes. Yeah, we what we took a look. Oh, at, I ran right sorry. into him. We took a look at the um, the European or the later release. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's a bit. There's, it's a bit hairy. hairy now. Oh, oh, oof, oof. Ah! Ah! <laughs> fireballs everywhere. That's the hard one. It's the fly. Coming out this side. Oh, the fireball! Get out of the way! Ah! Get him! Oh. Ah! He's <laughs> faster than me! He's faster than you. That's not fair. Stay right there. Oh, I'm not moving. One. Wrong side. Got him! No! No! Stay, stay away from me. Okay, get him. Joust 2, Survival of the Fittest. Man, if this had been released back in the day, Big N would have shat themselves over upstaging their own NES releases. <gasps> Oops. Wasn't paying attention. Nope. Oh, I've got lots of lives. Good. Ah! <laughs> oh, terrible. Yeah, there's always theories about games being better on other systems than their own consoles. Oh, my God. Ah! Ah! And whether yes. they were mad about that, specifically the Donkey Kong one, but that rumor's been put to bed many oh, times dead. by the developer. I'm dead. Oh my god, there's so many things now. I know. Oh, damn it. I thought I was going to hit the pow. Didn't want to hit the pow, but I thought I would have saved myself. Okay, what's. Oh, fireballs. It's the fireballs. Oh! <laughs> Pie Factor is probably the hardest one to uh. to make because of all the moving objects, and they just went, "Oh, if we have to get get rid of one, we don't have space for it, so we're gonna get rid of the Pie Factory one." Yeah. 
Doug99 says, the Apple II prototype is incredibly good. Includes everything, though slow as molasses. <laughs> yeah, we watched a bunch of videos at the beginning of the show of all the different versions. And there were some slow-moving ones. There's ones with good graphics and... Um, there are some good ones out there. 600's a bit rough, but they eh, did okay. <gasps> okay, can I get this guy? Oh! oh! Hit me in my head! <laughs> Ow. Oh, last life. We're pretty much at max level anyway right now. It just Are gets we? more and more creatures, I believe. Like, there's oh. no more new things to come. Just we've one. seen everything at this yeah, point, is what you're saying. Yeah, we've seen all the creatures you might as well that are included now. I guess so, yeah. You don't have to. Well, we haven't really shown it off too much, so I'll try. I have to wait for that. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, he's, run, he's wiggling run away, in. Run away. He was wiggling into the pipe. Okay. Oh, gets rid of the fireballs, too. Ooh, nice. There Yay. we go. Phase 13. You still have power. Game over. You're screw you screwed up. <laughs> I just forget about it, because it's it's only in one spot, and you're like other places on the screen. I guess it's helpful to, to time it up. But I try and play without it to get better at playing oh, without yeah. it. Oh, yeah. You don't want to use it unless you absolutely have to. Yeah. And you want to save it for when you really need it. Oh, the fireballs, all three on one level. Crazy. Oh, and they keep... This is on Novice. But this is a high is, level. I mean, I'm sure still. they all get to hard at some point. This is Mamma Mia level one, basically. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. For, in terms of fireballs, it's Mamma Mia level one. Look at the, fire, the fighter fly going. Wiggle, yeah. wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I can't get him. Oh, God. Ugh, so many things. One life left. Oh! Oh! Damn it! I looked away for a second. Very good. That was a good round, though, for both oh, of us. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, we played simple. Oh, your turn. I want to know who keeps flushing their coins down the toilet. Yeah. Why are there so many coins in the sewers? <laughs> Maybe there should be a mold level or a rest level. <laughs> Oops. Or a tropical, a hot and steamy level. It's hot, yes. <laughs> Where you can't see what's going on. Mm -hmm. It's all this steamy. So, what do you think? Pretty good? Mm -hmm. It's okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's excellent. It's, it's so much fun. It's impeccable. It's amazing. <laughs> yes. Uh, I love it. So, yeah. I hope it gets released soon-ish as a demo and all of you get to play it because mm -hmm. it is awesome it's so much fun to play one of my favorite plat old school platformers game game you gravitate to this whenever we go to the arcade you're like oh yeah. mario brothers mario and brothers. it's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah because yeah. it's in our local arcade yes. so i do play it from time to a time when we go there because it's just yeah. fun to pop in a quarter and, and play as i said it's a two-player game too so we can yes. play it together you can play it with someone else like, yeah. like simultaneous two-player game. games are always fun yeah, yeah. 10 out of 10 definitely yes. 10 out of 10 it's it perfect. is missing nothing no like and it gets no. it so good so close to the arcade mm -hmm. and even includes all the intro screens and the instructions and great music um so thank you old style yes for letting us debut it on zero page homebrew and uh, also for synth Papalooza for making the music. Oh yeah, the music it's sounds great. It's so nice to be able to have the privilege to play all these new games. Yes. And to debut them and show them on the show. And the community has been nothing but amazing to us. And yes. so supportive. And we try and support them back by showing off their games and doing interviews and digging deep into the games. Um, yeah. I would seek it out at uh, Amero Brothers at Six Flags all the time. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a big <laughs> N, C, and D letter is coming, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. To who? It's not out. It's not released. Nothing's happening. There's no game. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what you're talking I'm, about. I'm playing MAME, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing the arcade version of MAME of uh, Mario. It's, mm. it's so perfect, isn't it? 
<laughs> it's Mame. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Reskin it with Alex Kidd. Sega doesn't care anymore. Yeah. Nothing to, nothing see, to here. see here. Move along. These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, awesome. Super, super awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so, we're going to have a little break and then play Ricky and Vicky a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Maybe in about an hour. Have yeah. A little bit of break. Yeah. You're going to take a bit of a break, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, but let's check out what's coming up on Zero Page in the next little while. One second. Sorry for the bugginess early on. Oh, it's um, fine. Just one little thing, one little really. Well, it was freezing. And the freezing was the only thing But then we I played the old so. version. It was totally fine. Mm. We showed it off. That's mm -hmm. what was important. Uh, no, Nintendo didn't say anything about Popeye that I've heard of. Not yet. So, <laughs> but they are a little iffy on Popeye because they don't own the they, rights. They don't the own the rights to Popeye anymore. Oh. They did when they made it, but then gotcha. they didn't afterwards. Oh, interesting. And I believe, if I'm correct, that's why they did Mario instead. I, I can't their remember own, something about to that. To have their own characters, you mean? Yeah, to have their own mm. characters. Yeah, the Popeye situation is a little weird. Yeah, it's they don't they don't really control Popeye. Like if you made Popeye, like the arcade, I don't know if United Artists or whatever it is has to go after you or Nintendo does because mm. Nintendo did have it. It would be more about the character Popeye, I think, at that I point. I think so, yeah. Rather than the game that Nintendo released. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, I'm yeah. not a lawyer. Don't listen to me. <laughs> um, so, yep, we played Mario Brothers. We're going to be playing Ricky and Vicky uh, tonight. Not at 6. I don't know why that says 6. Uh, Sometime after. Oh, it actually links to 8 o'clock, but anyway. Um, we're going to be playing Bernie and the Cubic Conundrum next episode. Oh, oh cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, and maybe EXO because some more things have been added to it, but nice. it's the demo version, but nice, we can nice, still play nice. it. We're also going to play Heartlight as well and maybe something else. And that'll be our uh, New Year's Eve show. Uh, nice. It'll actually be at 2 p.m., not and We're going to try for it, yeah. We're going to try for 2 um, so I'm going to change that so it'll be earlier in the day because everybody's going to be doing something later on, yeah. including us. We're not going to be playing video. Well, we'd probably be playing video We might games. be later. <laughs> <laughs> but for the show, we'll I be doing I don't think we're going to be earlier. doing anything too crazy, but we'll, we're at least going to try and go out for dinner. So Yeah, at least dinner. At least dinner. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then it's wide open in the beginning of the new year, um, but I'll be ramping up for the Atari Homebrew Awards. Which gets the cutoff is in a couple days mm -hmm. for 2021 because that's the end of the year. So we're going to be judging, nominating all the games within 2021, narrowing it down to six per category. That's There's so like 19 exciting. categories this year. It's huge. We added yeah. links, Atari links this year. Yeah. Uh, oh, I thought it might be ringing in the new year with all you all. Oh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, it depends on Maybe. what part of the world you're in. <laughs> that's true. You could be ringing in the new year. Uh, if you are 10 hours ahead of us. <laughs> so Australia. 10 to 11, yeah. Australia, it would be midnight at 2 p.m., right? I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. Are they 10 hours ahead? They're like the next day. I'm yeah. not sure. Anyway, yeah. They're Depends the next day and earlier. They're way ahead of us. Like, way ahead. I don't really get it, but... Uh, 10 hours would be like... Um, two in from Britain. So it'd be like Germany... Or a little bit east of Germany, yeah. Um, so by the end, yeah, it could be. By the end of the show, they could be ringing in the new year in Europe with us. Um, so on January 21st, we're going to be revealing the nominees for the Atari Homebrew Awards and playing through some games. 2,600 games the first two days, then 7,800 day, uh, games on the third day, and then more 7800 on the fourth day. And then 8-bit and links, 8-bit 5200 and links and packaging on the fifth day. Mm -hmm. And then the actual event is on February 12th, the fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards presentation at noon on Saturday, February 12th. Imagine the headaches with time zones when we have a colony on Mars. Well. Yeah, because their day is different lengths. But they would go by Earth GMT most likely so that they can talk back to Earth 
because calculating Mars days is going to be but would you even difficult? Would your they'd have to figure it out? But there's a whole other thing there with uh, your circadian rhythm. If their days are different, then it's not yeah. the day. It's like what day the people living on the planet want to want to live. Mm-hmm. How much sleep they want to get, how much they want to stay awake. It'd be very complicated. <laughs> very complicated. Yeah, and would your body change not with for the computers. rising and setting sun? Your body might change and want and yeah. start sleeping differently. Yeah. That's an interesting one, Captain Classic. <laughs> that is. That's for another. That's for some other Twitch live stream to to uh, ponder yeah. over. I think. Yeah. Isn't if isn't as if two hundred game sales for a defunct platform will really affect their game sales? Mm. Yeah. Uh, Princess Rescue <laughs> <laughs> gives their IP more notoriety. Yeah. yeah. They don't care. It's about defending their their yeah, name. Different yeah. Mm. Different gravity. Yeah. Different gravity. Yeah. Yeah. It's difficult. <laughs> living on mars for yeah. various reasons uh, yeah i don't hi, know kitty. hi a uh, bit of a joke they would use utc gmt they would all be living in caves anyway to avoid solar radiation probably they would actually so yeah rise and fall of the sun they'd probably match they, it to earth they might not they might not even if it's only 37 minutes longer than an earth oh. day that's nothing but i mean yeah the sunrise and sunset they might they have to have it. a false like false lighting well, lights would come up and down yeah I yep. don't know. Anyway. Yep. and change color so that they could go to sleep Maybe. and wake up yeah no magnetic field yeah uh, lots yeah of, lots, lots of, of problems many yeah. problems on mars mars daylight savings even more <laughs> <laughs> i hope they don't implement mars daylight savings ridiculous ridiculous um yeah so that's 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 not that <laughs> So, oh, Atari's here to yeah. say bye. Oh, you can see his face poking yes. above the cat cam. Oh, little kitty. Um, all we need is to attach rockets to Mars, increase its rotation speed. speed. Problem solved. That's yes, easy. that sounds very Poison soil. Tons of issues to deal with before ZPH yeah, airtime. <laughs> yeah, haven't seen Total Recall. The movie teaches all about the hardships of living on Mars. Yeah, yeah. the airflow, you know, yeah, <laughs> difficult. Yeah. Um, so thanks for tuning in, Mike Saul. It's good to see that you're feeling better. RC7E, Ivory Tower Collections, Captain Classic, Doug0909. Yeah, just bring potatoes. Yeah. Problem solved. That's all you need. Yep. Uh, nostalgic. Uh, Charles Whelan, old style. Thank you so much yes. for letting us debut your incredible game yeah, on the, the port show. It's amazing. Uh, amazing. Unbelievable. Yeah. Vitoko, Phaser Cat Games, uh, Steps, Dan ABC. Um, Doug is in there. Peabrook 67. Yep. Metalunar 7. Splendid Nut. Who else was talking? Uh, who else haven't we said? Oh, I think oh, that's it. Did oh. you go over the uh, poll before we uh, head out? No, but I do have the results. Excellent, excellent. Uh, if I can read them. Oh, why do they use gray and black? So, so 90% say Mario, Mario. It's which it me, is Mario. actually Mario. And 9.5% percent say mario mario which is just fine. mario it's just mario that is a real name um and i'm sure i've said it uh many times i think it depends on the game yes it's like super mario brothers super That's, mario you hear that a lot you don't say super mario brothers and nobody says it's me mario <laughs> never so it's all dependent on the accent the accent and which game you're replying and, applying it and to my name is the same and I've said this many times. People pronounce it Tanya and Tanya. Yes. I don't even know how I pronounce my name <laughs> half the time. It's gone. My parents get very upset when it's pronounced Tanya. Which I pronounce it that way. You pronounce it Tanya. But it's her fault. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> she introduced herself as Tanya yes. to me. So. Although my parents um, maintain that it's I was Tanya at first, Well, they named so you. So they named me, yeah. They should know. Uh -huh. Different in different situations. Tanya is not the same as Tanya. It's T O N Y. That's Tonya. <laughs> to ton Nobody Tonya. says Tonya. Tanya. But Tanya. It's, but it's Russian, so it's. Well, yeah, I mean. It's with a J. <laughs> right? I, I don't no, no, no. Tanya. Tanya. Probably with a backwards R, too. Yeah, backwards R. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I've been training myself to say Tanya rather than Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> 
Captain Louie and Saturday Morning Show says Mario. Mario. Oh, does he? Yeah. Do, I, let's I, do the Mario. Do the Mario? Yes. Oh, it's so confusing. They yeah. got to get their story straight. It, it's accent. I don't think it's one's, one's right or wrong. It's just mm. accent. Like I say, my parents, also British, say Tanya. So, yes. you know. Well, that is the more posh British way of saying things. I, they're not posh. Tanya. But, no, um, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> they're not posh. But uh, Tanya, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't no, care one either way, way or the other. It's the same name as yeah. far as I'm concerned. So we're done for now. We'll be back in about an hour. So mm -hmm. 9 p.m. Yeah. 8.39. We'll Nine? see. We'll you see. need a bit of time? Not really. <laughs> you just need a break. I, yeah, I have to make the graphics up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, an hour. Oh, geez, an hour. <laughs> no, we'll do it in a half an hour. Half an hour. We'll see, in half an hour. peer pressure. Yeah. What time is it? 7.50? So we'll be back at 8.30. 8.30. Yeah. Our time. Yeah. We'll be here. 11.30 we'll your time? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to shut off the stream and bring it back Oh, yeah, on? yeah, okay. yeah. So it's a separate thing. So time for back. a Witcher episode. Woo! Half a Witcher episode. Yeah, they're about an hour. That's yeah. Yeah. half a Witcher. Yeah. Yeah. Not enough. Not <laughs> enough. Did you watch them all, though. You're oh, I, I got through them all. Oh, yeah. I started at back in at one season sitting. one. Yeah. I, I, well, no. I rewatched season one too because I wanted to see. Yeah, it's hard to remember. It's years. I couldn't ago, remember. Right? Yeah, yeah, a couple of years. Yeah, I'll yes. Oh, all my Witcher, Witcher, compatriots out there who yeah, excellent. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be as, as good as Witcher one. What do you think? I liked Witcher two, but I've heard from a lot of people um, that there's a lot of criticism that it, it didn't really follow the books as much. So. But. I, aside, I haven't read the books. It's good, right? I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah I enjoyed it. But people who, yeah. you know, know the books or the video game or whatever, and they're expecting something and it doesn't happen. I think that's always hard. Or and they change something else. Especially like, Yennefer's character. They they did something weird with her, which I don't think oh, people sit, were right? very happy about. Because they changed it. They changed her. Right. And her, her and Siri and yeah. Mm. But I still liked it. Mm. I like the monsters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's working on his Witcher. <laughs> his his Geralt, Growl. Geralt of Rivia growl. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, we'll see you in half an hour. Bye-bye. <laughs>